Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAD 2019, slot 2 DILR, says that the first year students of a business school are split into six sections. Uh, in 2019, the business statistics was taught by six different teachers. Okay, these are the six teachers, and all six sections had a common midterm and a common end term worth 100 marks each. ET contained more questions than MT. Okay, so there were questions and ET had more questions than MT. Questions for MT and ET were prepared collectively by the six faculty members. Considering MT and ET together, each faculty member prepared the same number of questions. So important pieces of information. Each MT and ET had at least four questions that were worth five marks. At least three questions that were worth 10 marks and at least two questions that were worth 15 marks. In both MT and ET, that all the five marks questions preceded the 10 mark questions. That means five marks questions will come first and then the 10 mark questions and the 15 mark questions followed the 10 mark question. So first you will have five marks questions, then 10 mark questions, then 15 marks questions. Now here I would like to tell one technique which I use while solving questions is like uh, here still you can deal in 5 and 10 suppose it were large numbers let us say it was uh, let's say 25 50 and 75 right adding would become uh, difficult okay when you think of numbers like 20 50 and 75 now if you think like this these are in the ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 3 so instead of 5 10 and 15 i shall be using 1 2 and 3 and probably this is one unique method you will learn and if you start applying in such problems you will realize that it makes problem solving much easier because we can calculate these things fast so we are going to replace 5 by 1 okay uh, 10 by 2 and 15 by 3 and finally we can multiply the result by 5 to get the numbers now total will be 20 right so let us now uh, solve this and figure out that how many questions we need first of all one mark questions it says that uh, there are at least four questions so minimum four now we are putting the minimum numbers then two mark questions they are saying minimum three questions and three mark minimum two questions okay this the statement now we have got four three two that is nine questions and total of four six and six 16 marks now we need to give four more marks how can we give four marks now see this becomes simple to add one 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 right or we can give one one two that is also four we can also give one and three that is also four okay and we can give two and two that is also four right now this total is 20 that that means 100 now it means that we already have nine questions we can go up to max four more questions 13 more 13 questions could be the max so we can have 11 to 13 questions in each of these right so we will make a table like this now another thing to consider is each faculty member prepared the same number of questions so there are six faculty members they will prepare six n questions now we are saying that the number of questions is 11 to 13 questions so if you add this range you get 22 to 26 questions and what is a multiple of six in between them that is 24 so there will be total 24 questions total 24 questions in these two papers then next it says et contained more questions than mt so this gives us that ET will have 11 questions and MT will have 11, ET will have 13 and MT will have 11 questions. So this is ET in which we are getting the four questions like this, okay. And MT can't be this because this will result in 12 questions. Nine questions we have already figured out plus three more will make it 12. So MT will be one out of these two, we will figure out ET is this wherein four questions of one are all added. So now if you make the case for ET, so four were already there, four more. So ET will have 
eight questions of five marks. I am putting one here. Then three questions of ten marks and two questions of three marks. So this was just to make the calculation simple. It is not needed that you put one, two, three. You can put five, ten, fifteen also. I personally do it because this makes uh, the time much lesser for me. Time saving tip because instead of writing ten, I am writing to uh, I am writing lesser digits. Plus adding is super simple uh, when we have single digit numbers. Okay, next we have let us put in the information also. It says any prepared the fifth question for both MT and ET. So any any for MT this question carried five marks. Now this is the key information. If it carried five marks, that means one in our language. So that means there are already four questions. Right, minimum four. So fifth question is also of five marks. So that means MT is this case. So MT is this case. We will put the values. So five questions of five marks each, or in our language, uh, one. Then three questions of this, and then finally for three marks or fifteen marks, we will have two plus one more question. Now you can multiply by five, and you will see the total is hundred. Okay. Now we will keep filling the information. Any prepared one questions for MT? Every other faculty member prepared more than one questions for MT. So there are total eleven questions, and there are six faculty members. Okay. So each will two each for uh, MT, and Annie will prepare one question. Similarly, here there are thirteen questions. Now, in this, any will prepare three. Others will also prepare two each. So that we have got that these are the number of questions prepared for these two tests. All questions prepared by a faculty member appeared consecutively in MT as well as ET. So suppose X person is preparing this question, X person should prepare this also. If Y has prepared this question, Y will prepare this question also, and so on. So let's use the remaining information to complete the table. Chetan prepared the third question in both MT and ET. So Chetan is preparing this question, and Isha prepared the eighth question in both. Last piece of information says Fakir prepared the first question in MT and the last one in ET. So first and last, and. they have prepared the last question for mt and the first one for et okay now we know that all of them are preparing two questions each so fakir will prepare this question chetan will prepare this question okay dev is preparing the last this will also be dev now we are left with b and e so obviously e cannot come here because if we put e here e will have three or one person will have only one so it is quite obvious b will prepare Sixth and seventh question, and he will prepare the eighth and ninth question. Okay, so B and E are done. Now next, here also two each. So D will prepare the first two questions. C will prepare the next two questions. A has to prepare three questions. So A, A, and A. E will prepare two questions. Last two will be by F, and these two will be by the remaining person that is B. Okay, and you can multiply the numbers by five while answering the questions. Now let us look at the questions given to us. So the first question is the second question in ET was prepared by. So second question in ET is prepared by Dave. How many five marks questions were there in MT and ET combined? So here we have five questions and. Here we have a total of eight questions, so total of thirteen five marks questions. Who prepared fifteen marks questions for MT and ET? Okay, so we are talking about both uh, combined MT and ET fifteen marks. So we have D, E, and here we have F. So D, E, and F. So Dave, Isha, and Fakir. Which of the following questions did Betty prepare in ET? So in ET, B has prepared question number ten and eleven, and among the given options, it is tenth question. 
So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.